Okay, so I have this new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. It says a uh, foundation with vitamins, and on the front it shows E, B3, B5, and broad spectrum SPF 20. Lightweight, full coverage makeup, um, hydrates, um, and it's oil free. And it's supposed to be lightweight, full coverage. So this foundation, I think it's awesome. I really like this. I've never ever liked a CoverGirl foundation. I don't want to be rude, but I have never liked one. Either they break up really fast or they um, have a really strong fragrance, which this one does, or they make me break out. And I, of course, if something makes me break out, I'm not going to wear it ever again, which has been the case with CoverGirl foundations, unfortunately. This one is awesome. And I always try to like peel that sticker off, but it never really works. Maybe I should have put the lid the other way. That's better. Um, so I got the shade 705. I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you can tell. So it says it's a lightweight full coverage. It is definitely lightweight. Like, holy crap, I forgot I was wearing makeup. Like, no joke. Normally, I can tell I have makeup on. Not necessarily because I can feel it. Which this one, I cannot feel it. It feels dry. Not like my skin doesn't feel dry. It just like... It literally feels like there's nothing on my face. I can honestly say I've never felt that way about a foundation before. Like I've always been able to feel it on my face or if I happen to have an itch or I touch my face, I, it feels tacky. I don't feel anything with this foundation on at all. I really like it. It's it, extremely lightweight. I think if you, I would definitely not say that it's hydrating. It does say this formula hydrates with a complex of SPF 20 vitamins and an ox, antioxidant. I wouldn't really say that it's hydrating. Um, if I have to say which foundation is hydrating, it'd be the Rimmel Lasting Finish. I think that one's very hydrating. I think the Makeup Forever Ultra HD is hydrating for me, for my skin. This, I think if you have really, really dry skin, maybe it won't work, um, but it's not hydrating in my opinion. The other thing it says is lightweight full coverage. I would definitely say that. So for me, my needs and my like for foundations, I think this is full coverage. You can definitely build it up. It builds well on itself. I didn't notice any sort of like patchiness or anything. I blended it in with a damp uh, Real Techniques sponge and I think it was really good. Um, so it's lightweight. It is full coverage. It, well, it kind of depends on what you feel full coverage is. For me, when something's full coverage, it means I don't have to go back in with concealer. The Makeup Forever Ultra HD, I wouldn't consider that full coverage. I do put concealer on right here and a little bit on my forehead. I have like a sunspot right there. Maybe you could see it still. I don't know. Um, so if something's full coverage, that's my gauge is whether or not I have to go back with concealer or not. I did not put any extra concealer on with this at all. And I think it's really good. I've had it on for several hours today and I haven't noticed any sort of breaking down. It um, isn't making me feel oily either. Like usually I'll get oily in my T-zone just a little bit right here. I feel nothing on my face. Like I genuinely feel nothing. It feels like I don't have makeup on. Like it's not tacky. It's not smooth. I mean, it's not smooth. It is smooth. It dries down, I would say, just plain matte. There's no sheen. There's no shimmer. It's not satin on my skin. That's my experience. It feels like it's matte which isn't always my preference, but I do notice that I'm getting a little bit of like light, little shininess around the nose, which I think is welcome, a welcome uh, thing. I don't really mind that because it kind of adds a little dewiness to my face. I love this. I am so happy with this. The only thing, the only thing I don't like about it is that it has a strong fragrance. Like it's so strong. I probably smelled it for two to three hours when it was on my face and it gave me a headache. If you're really sensitive to scent, like you're one of those people that gets headaches from scents, this might give you a headache. It's just like a floral scent. I haven't used a CoverGirl foundation in a long time, so I can't say whether all their foundations have that scent. This one does. I wish it didn't have one, but I don't mind it. It's awesome. I really like it. My headache went away too, so I don't really care. Yeah, I think that's a really good foundation. This is really awesome. I really like the coverage. I like how it sinks right into my face. It becomes part of my face. I think it's awesome. I love it. I That's it. That's all I got to say. Well done, CoverGirl. This is a great foundation. Definitely check it out if you see it in your local store. And I love you. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.